The third reason for adopting a vegan diet is for human rights. In college, I was active in a group called Poverty Action Now. We raised money for Oxfam International, and we organized weekend trips to help the homeless in a nearby town. So LePay's analysis of global poverty and the fact that so many people are starving to death, even as we in the developed world eat so gluttonously, this analysis hit me hard. Right now, 1.3 billion people, more than 20% of the world's population, are living in dire poverty. Right now, 800 million people are suffering from what the United Nations calls nutritional deficiency. That's a euphemism. These people are starving. Every year, more than 40 million people die from starvation-related causes. It's depressing to consider that throughout the entire big famine in Ethiopia in the early 80s, that country was exporting desperately needed soy to Europe to feed to farmed animals. The same relationship held true throughout the famine in Somalia in the early 1990s. And the same relationship holds true today between Latin America and the United States. As just one example, two-thirds of the agriculturally productive land in Central America is devoted to raising farmed animals, almost all of whom are either exported or they're eaten by the wealthy few in these countries. Just two years ago, the UN Commission on Nutritional Challenges for the 21st Century said that unless we make major changes, one billion children will be permanently handicapped over the next 20 years as a result of inadequate caloric intake. The first step toward averting this tragedy, according to the Commission, is to encourage human consumption of traditional grains, fruits, and vegetables. So the question for us is, why are we cycling huge amounts of grain, soy, and corn through all the animals who we breed just to kill them, even as so many people starve for want of any sustenance at all? On the domestic front, a book came out a few years ago entitled Fast Food Nation by investigative journalist Eric Schlosser. In Fast Food Nation, Schlosser details the human abuse in slaughterhouses and includes the information that slaughterhouse workers have nine times the injury rate of coal miners in Appalachia, that some slaughterhouses have 300% turnover rates, and that many slaughterhouses reserve the worst jobs for the people who are in this country illegally and thus can't defend their rights. This is certainly the country's most dangerous and least desirable job, and there's no way of getting around the truth that eating meat or dairy products supports these sorts of relationships.